Namaskar, this is Sanjay Mishra presenting you the headlines from Enviro Annotations published on 11th January 2023. NGT sets up a high-level committee to execute identified steps to curb Yamuna River pollution and rejuvenation of the river. NGT has asked the Lieutenant Governor of Delhi, who is the Chairman of Delhi Development Authority and Administrator of Delhi under Article 239 of the Constitution, to head the committee. The NGT has sought the committee's first report by 31st January 2023. Central Pollution Control Board directs Haryana State Pollution Control Board to act against grossly polluting industries. It was observed that estimated ammoniacal nitrogen load of 277.36 kg per day and nitrate load of 188.87 kg per day are being discharged into surface water bodies through drains and tributaries. Four years of NCAP. Since launch of the National Clean Air Program on 10th January 2019, over 6,897.06 crores have been pumped out to 131 cities for air pollution management measures. However, NCR air quality remains the worst. Srinagar and Kohima are cleanest Indian cities. Editorial Opinion Gaps in Environmental Damage Compensation Recovery and Monitoring talks about Artemis Hospital in Sector 51 Gurugram was a violator of EI notification 2006. Environmental clearance dated 27th September 2019 issued by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change imposes Artemis Hospital, a remediation plan and natural and Community Resource Augmentation Plan worth 3 crore 60 lakh 90 thousand rupees. The amount was to be spent within a span of three years time, which is over by now. There is also an imposition of spending 3 crore 25 lakh rupees towards Corporate Environmental Responsibility, also known as CER. But alas, None of the monitoring agencies have a report on the status of implementation. CPCB's River Water Quality Report 2022 shows Maharashtra continues to top polluted river stretches number. Gujarat and Uttar Pradesh records most priority one stretches. Priority one stretch is where the BOD concentration exceeds 30 mg per litre. The report depicts that out of 603 rivers assessed, there are 311 polluted stretches in 279 rivers in 30 states and union territories as against 351 in 2018. Q&A section deliberates two questions. One, the post-EIA EC compliance monitoring periods are from 1st April to 30th September and 1st October to 31st March of a financial year. Whether environmental monitoring is required to be carried out within these periods? Second question was, can a DG set of more than 15 years run? Please support this channel by subscribing to our environmental weekly newspaper, Enviro Annotations. It is India's first environmental weekly newspaper. You can pay for subscription through the UPA QR code displayed on the screen right now. Plight of Raini Village, widely known as Home of Chipko Movement, a Himalayan case study of climate change, fragile ecosystem, unplanned development, and combined consequences. Delhi government putting efforts to make Delhi a city of lakes. Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia reviews Niloti Lake status. NCR City Gurugram may deploy GIS technology for groundwater conservation and monitoring. Researchers from Indian Institute of Madras predict that Chennai could 
cumulatively emit 231.9 million tons of carbon dioxide by 2040 from the construction and operation of buildings alone owing to rapid urbanization. NGT seeks explanation from Secretary Ministry of Jal Shakti Government of India for being non-responsive for about five months. To know more, please subscribe to Enviro Notations. It's published every Wednesday. Annual subscription for subcopies comes at a nominal price of Rs. 1100 only. You can pay through the UPI QR code displayed on the screen or to mobile number 9818326647. Please share your valuable comments on this video in the comment section. And don't forget to hit the like button. It costs nothing to you but encourages us tremendously. And also, share this video with your friends and colleagues. And if you have not subscribed so far to this channel, please do it now. You can also share your stories, news, research synopsis, your articles for publication in our print version and share your videos for this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching this. We will come back with another episode for you. Till then, do take care of yourself and your environment.